I'm Gina Luker from theshabbycreekcollege.com and I want to share with you how to use Adobe Photoshop Elements 15 and the guided painterly edit to create a really cool um, effect on your photos. So start with a photo. This is one that we had taken at Disney World, uh, me and my family. And you want to go into guided and under guided you want to go into fun edit and right here is the painterly so click on that and you can choose paintbrush and you want to start you can increase or decrease the size of the brush you want to start um, doing a few random ones and then change your brush angle so that it it doesn't just look really uniform and it gives a little more um, a little more variation and you want to just keep adding to it. I can tell you because I've done this a few times that these white spots that you see in the middle it's from the the tool and I want to really make sure that you know my family members are, are pretty well in view. So once I have it kind of like I want it and I think this looks pretty good you can do um, as much or as little as you want. You can also do rough bristles, which is just another version. And sometimes it's good to try different, a few different effects so that it gets more of a, an organic feel, I guess. Um, you can change the angles, like I said. And after you're happy with where you want it, you can select the canvas color and this area that's kind of faded out you can change either black which I'm not really fond of that one or white which really makes that photo pop you can choose a texture to give that negative space a little more detail if you want um, and you can do an effect if you'd like you can make it have kind of a watercolor look or a more hand-drawn look. You can do different effects with it so that you can really like have fun and, and make your photos what you want them to be. Um, kind of like, you know, the, the, this watercolor-ish kind of look. And that's it. Uh, you want to click Next and then you're going to save your image. If you'd like to see how to make the photo frame, you can find it on my blog at theshabbycreekcottage.com slash barnwood-frame.